Into Play presents, even though you can't see it, a parallax software game. Again, you can't see it. But there's the title of the game. What are we playing now? Hmm. Hmm. Whenever you're ready. Yes! Hello out there and welcome to Let's Casually Play Descent. Oh yes. I'm so glad to start a new game. It's so good. Like I said, new game. Now, you might be wondering what Descent is. Well, you can see down... Probably can't capture the cursor, which is fine. I told it not to. But down near the bottom it says 1994, 1995, so it's a bit of an old game. This is a... You could call it a first-person shooter, but it's it's got six degrees of motion. And, well, you're inside of a cockpit, that's besides the point. Uh, but let me just jump right into it. Because it's easier to see than it is to explain. Yeah, we're going to do training because I want to have fun and not get bogged down by hellishly difficult robots. Alright, so I think I'm going to do something different compared to my all my previous uh, Let's Plays and voice acting things. So, here we are in PMTC Station Shiva. Uh, in a briefing with the Post-Terran Minerals Corporation in their headquarters. Uh, so, these guys show up again in Def Descent 3, and I think I remember that guy we're listening to saying, Good luck, Material Defender! Or something like that, so that's the voice I'm giving him. And apparently, our defense robots did not function to specifications. Our Pluto mining stations are now in unknown hands. I don't remember how the Material Defender sounds, so... Let's just go with it. Worthless bureaucrats. They replace us all with robots, given half the chance. Briefings are awful. Air is too sterile for human lungs. Endless electric blue schematics sting the eyes. And a suit from the post Terran, whose droning voice would make Armageddon sound boring. They needed me. They had the equipment I needed. Why does this fool keep battling? We have an Israeli made Pyro GX. words. Specially modified for this mission. Pyro GX, that's the name of the ship we're flying. Fine, let me go. Some fighter jocks worship their hardware, but I'm not the religious type. The idiot giving the lecture was practically drooling. The hardware was pretty impressive, though. AV-42 Avenger concussion missiles. A pair of AG-435 industrial argon cyanide lasers. Illegally modified. Just the way those hardware junkies like them. Do I really need to know the serial numbers, though? You will have multiple objectives on this mission. Even contradictory objectives, don't you? Destroy all infected mines. Keep the invading force from spreading further. But be sure to rescue any survivors. Destroy any robots as possible. And each one of these objectives is the most important. Why do they have to decide this mission by committee? This can only be done by the material defender in... I never did figure out what that is. S-I-T-U? S-I-T-V? Translation from bureaucraties. They're hosed, and I'm the only one who can cut their losses. That's the trouble with working for the largest bureaucracy in human history. Hail the glorious post Terran Minerals Corporation. Huzzah. Our remaining defense robotics have smuggled the replacement parts and weapons into the mine. At present, the invader has not been alerted. Oh, that's good. We are confident that you will have the advantage of a surprise attack, or at least until you enter the mines at that point. Oh, there's a period there. <laughs> At that point, you should expect a heavy counteroffensive. I suppose I should be thankful for small mercies. Somehow I had a feeling I would have no advantages at all. The strategic weak point of our mines is the fusion reactors. They're deep, in mi they're deep in each mine and completely automated. Normally we would be able to blow them from orbit, but our public stations have been severed at the source. Of course they have. Knocking out the reactors will cause a system-wide meltdown within a matter of seconds. And when I say system-wide, I mean complete vaporization. Getting out before the mine blows should be foremost on your mind. <laughs> and foremost on the minds of any poor slobs I haven't rescued yet. The information we have on the enemy is rather sketchy. Yeah, I wish it wasn't. Hmm, PTMC intelligence comes through again. Big surprise there. Well, of course they do! PTMC intelligence always comes through. This guy doesn't really direct sarcasm, does he? <sighs> the infected mines now appear to be manufacturing new robots for its needs. Most are based on the designs of common mining mechs, but expect to see completely new ones as well. Ones are not going to be briefed on. Whatever has invaded the mines appears to adapt rapidly. While none of the internal monitor systems are responding, defense satellites have spotted a few of the modified mechs near the surface. 
Here is the latest from PTMC Intelligence. Ah, yes, this is the... This is, this is where stuff gets interesting. This is the things we'll be fighting, the robots we'll be fighting. Starting with the Class 1 drone, uh, threat level minimal. Uh, don't, the other thing else doesn't really matter. The, the flavor text is nice, but what really matters for me is things I can call these things, and how badly I should be scared of them. So we've got a Class 1 drone here, they're not that big of a threat. Class 2 drones, also not very friendly. I mean, it says average, but... I, they're, they're, tankier than Clash. They can take more hits than the Class 1s, I, I know. Medium lifters. I guess this was where armament comes in handy to know, because this tells you they only have swing arms, which means they can only attack at melee range. But they do a lot of damage at melee range, at least they do in higher difficulties. And small hulks. We're going to see a, a lot of hulks, starting with this small one. I think they're, they're even more heavily armed than the, uh, the Class 2 drones. Thankfully, they're not all that threatening, although <laughs> I have seen that they dodge uh, any dodge uh, any slow moving projectiles medium hulks these guys are what does it say yeah threat high that is accurate you don't want to get hit by their missiles luckily their missiles go in a straight line and uh, relatively slow kind of like the missiles you start out with what do they call them the <sighs> avenger something concussion missiles <laughs> hey spider robots uh, threat level high I, I don't think that's quite as accurate as the as a uh, medium hulks. I do know that they can break down into smaller robots, which uh, this briefing doesn't tell us about. And it's the texture for the exit door, which is how we get out when we blow the reactor, as the guy, the uh, the, bu the bureaucrat guy said. Safely pirated core shop and waste partners is starting to look really good right now. Sound really good right now. Most of our information is sketchy at this point. <laughs> yep. We will continue to analyze the data you acquire and keep you updated as we can. Be aware that we have witnessed advanced intelligence in many of these mechs. It is safe to assume they will continue to develop new weaponry and behaviors as you progress, but of course you'll see the real evidence soon enough. I suppose if they were any more encouraging, they'd be shooting me right now. We are aware for your record in putting down the humans... Wait, what? Putting down the humans first mining... Oh, yeah, okay. The, the, if they ever want to make a Descent Zero, they can do that. <laughs> we know from that you can get difficult jobs done. I think I changed voices there, but whatever. First he tries to scare me, then he flatters me. The least they could do is bring someone else in to play good cop. Who does he think I am? Just because I've killed people doesn't mean I'm stupid. Typical PMT, PTMC stuff. St oh, stiff! Okay, I don't know if that says that. Cool. And imagine what his face would look like with my fist buried in it. <sighs> Much better. If you pull this off, PTMC will pay you triple your use of compensation. Now I'm intrigued. PTMC only throws money around when they're sincerely scared. You'll also earn high recognition indeed. But if recognition does not improve the situation, you will purge the inner planets, and then swing outbound, heading for Pluto. You'll be able to rearm at the orbital PTMC processing stations. Rearm? <laughs> yeah, right. Wish. Nothing about reinforcements. That's not good. I wonder who was sent before. Who was sent before they got around to drawing my name at the PTMC database? Someone who wasn't ready for the task, obviously. I doubt you're aware of this, but the military division performs advanced weaponry development in several of our mines. Thankfully, the Pyrogy has been modified to make use of any new technology you find. Thankfully, <laughs> it's apparent you'll need everything you can to eliminate this threat. Threat to your salary, you mean? The only reason PTMC hires people like me is to ensure its undaunted financial future. And we feel you should know that intelligence reports indicate the convergence point of the robot invasion force is Earth. My stomach turned again. You'd think they would get to the important part of the start of the briefing. Of course, to PTMC, their minds are the important part. I keep forgetting that. That is all, Material Defender. Prepare for descent. So, they yeah, have still in Station C uh, in orbit of Earth, uh, but it should say somewhere. Should say the name of the station we're in. It's okay. Lunar Outpost MN0012. Well, Lunar Outpost is the only thing we need to know. We're in an outpost and we're on the moon. Probably in the moon. All right. Welcome to descent. Uh, let me first explain what I meant by six degrees of motion. So, as, well, as far as staying, as far as shifting your aim of view, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six degrees you can move. Likewise, in actually changing your position, you've got one, two, three. Four, five, or no, I did that one already. Five, six degrees. 
So, uh, there really is no up. I could play the whole game like this if I wanted to. Hey, class one drone, we'll, we'll get to you in a minute. I could play, I could even play it like this. Diagonally is really disorienting. But, um, I don't have to stay oriented. This is a far cry from from things like Wolfenstein or Doom, or even Dark Forces, Star Wars Dark Forces, where you were looking up actually mattered. But this not, not only can you look up, you can fly up and all that fun stuff. So you can move really anywhere you want. So I've already taken out some Class 1s and some Class 2s. I think those are, no, they're not the only enemies in this uh, level. There are small hulks as well. Um, I want to say I've been playing this forever, but that'd be a lie. I've been playing Descent 2, the sequel, for a very long time. Um, it's uh, only recently, like in the past four or so years, have I gotten the actual Descent, and I only just recently got my joystick working. And uh, that brings me to how I'm playing this. Uh, I'm not playing this through DOSBox or like with the Steam version or anything else. I'm playing a mod called uh, Descent Rebirth. It's like D1X Rebirth. And, oh hey, he's trying to dodge my fire. It's kind of cool. And uh, what that does is... What that basically does is... It doesn't really change anything gameplay or graphics-wise. All it does is make sure that the game runs on pretty much any system and as smooth as you can possibly do. If you play Descent or indeed Descent Rebirth, and you don't, and you think the music sounds different, that's because it kind of is. Back uh, back when this was on DOS, the music the music would be different, sound different. It would have the same notes and everything, but it would sound different depending on your audio drivers. Actually, I'm gonna sit right here before I talk about. It. Okay, so this is a secret door. You can't really see it. I don't know if we've gone through an actual door yet, but you can kind of sort of see the lines where it divides. You can really see it when I shoot at it. So secret. So if I if I didn't get the secret doors, I wouldn't have got homing missiles until like the next level. And I haven't even gone over the weaponry yet. Wow, this is a, a lot to take in, but I play this game relatively fast, especially since I'm on trainee mode. Which is which is really a, a load off my back. I I've never I don't remember the highest difficulty I've done. I, I even picked up the hostages and I didn't even say it. Wow, so every level's got a door like this that I busted open however many minutes ago that was, and the little blue guys I picked up, I think they were sprites, not models. Um, those are those are hostages. If I die before I if I die before the level is over, they die and I don't get them back. I can get all my equipment back, but not the hostages. So really in harder levels I might wanna just keep a mental note of where the hostages are and come back to them. I don't want to go that way yet. Um, what was I talking about before Secret Door? You're right, yes, audio drivers. Uh, I think the default soundtrack that comes with, uh, with Descent Rebirth uh, was recorded with different audio drivers than what I have, but you can download soundtracks recorded using other audio drivers, and I I, as far as I can remember, I've always heard them with OPL3 audio drivers, so that's what you're listening to now. If you look carefully, there is another secret door right there, but I want to clear out this down here. So this whole time, I've been firing the, what did he call them, the, the Argon, uh, Argon Cyanide lasers, yeah. <laughs> you don't need to know, know that, they're just called lasers. This room is going to be more important, we just cleared it out a little bit, and I think... Oh yeah, we can take you out too. Maybe if I rotate you, actually, now that you're there, level back out. Well, that room's gonna be more important. We do have concussion missiles, but we haven't really needed to use them yet. Everything here is gonna be taken out pretty easily with one weaponry. No way, I wasn't done here. We saw a secret door. I'm gonna open it. See what spells it has for us. Of course, there are some enemies to take care of. A couple class ones. These are shields. I haven't talked over any pickups yet. These are shields. There's the. If I go over it, you'll see the blue number down in my head of display go up. Uh, shields are pretty much HP. I, I, if the shields are out, and one more hit kills you. In fact, I think if you have, if you go down to zero shields, one hit kills you anyway. I'm not so sure why they don't have like a whole value or something, but they don't. Uh, there's more shields here. Yes. Yes. Cool. Um, on the roof somewhere is another door. At least I. Hole. Ah, there it is. Okay, so um, if you look at my targeting reticle, you'll see two circles. One's highlighted, one's not. Ugh. So whenever I fire a missile, like so, it fires from one of my 
wings. In which, oh yes, thank you. Uh, I'll pick you up in just a minute. Uh, the, the highlighted circle tells you which wing it's going to fire, which is helpful when planning your shots. This, you might, it might uh, look similar to something on my heads-up display. That is a laser upgrade, so I now have level 2 lasers. I didn't do any damage calculations to see how much damage a class 2 or class 1 drone takes with a regular laser, so I can't really immediately quantify how much better this is, but I can tell you that it is better. And perhaps you, you, or maybe editing me if he feels like it, I know you probably won't feel like it, but you know, it's worth a shot. Um, where, where was I going with that? Oh, you can kind of parse out, I just went that way. <laughs> Already, talking and playing just get me into trouble. This is why I'm playing on trainee, folks. Okay. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I know that that blast took out that drone faster than other weapons. I mean, than my level one laser. Hey, buddy. Hey there. I'm, really, I, if I didn't want to show off the missiles, I could have tested it on the small Hulk that was guarding the second laser upgrade. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> Another weapon. All right, so this is the Vulcan cannon. It doesn't use energy. I haven't even talked about energy yet. Wow, okay. Awesome. And also put our game mode. So let's, let's talk about energy, shall we? We're gonna go. So you see, I'm firing. I'm firing my lasers, which you know are lasers that do damage. And I'm firing my flares, which light up the room. There's nothing dark yet, but I can like shoot out these. Not those lights. I can shoot out some lights. Actually, here, here's a dark corner here. There's flares lighting the room up. You've probably seen me do that already and not explain it, but now you know. Uh, so la lasers are very energy efficient. It's gonna take me a while to run out of energy, but that's the resource I'm using. I was gonna get all the way down to 100 energy, but that's gonna take too long, or below 100 energy. That's gonna take too long. This is an energy center. I've already flown through it. Through it. Sure, that's a word now. Uh, if my energy reserves are less than 100, this will bring them back up to 100 gradually. But your max for both shields and energy is 200. All right, let me go back. So, all that to say, Vulcan Cannon doesn't use energy. It's got its own ammo. Back in the secret area, we were picking up ammo for it. I didn't point it out. Where got the Vulcan Cannon, and I'm going to shoot some things. Um, Vulcan Cannon is about as damaging as like level 2 or 3 laser, but uh, its main draw is that, well, en any weapon can do this. If a, if a enemy is getting shot at, it can't retaliate or shoot back. The Vulcan Cannon has such a ridiculous rate of fire that if you're good at keeping the relatively narrow fire... Uh, relatively narrow cone of fire on an enemy, they are completely shut down. Uh, nothing here is threatening enough for me to really do that yet, the br but it'll be really good about against the brown holes, the, uh, the, the medium ones, the missile firing ones, and a bunch of other weapons we're going to run into, or enemies we're going to run into later. Uh, we just picked up a red key. I keep picking up things and just realizing it after the point, but you saw me pick it up. There's a, there's a red door earlier. I didn't even talk about the red door. Like I said, this is a casual let's play. I'm not, I mean, I want to tell you everything so you're not lost, but I also don't want to miss slow everything down needlessly, so it's going to be really uh, lackadaisical. <laughs> That's probably not the word I was looking for. Let's go with it. So this is a red door. Before I got the red key, I couldn't open it. I should have shown that up, but I didn't, but now we can't open it. And uh, we've got a new section of mine to explore. Real quick, this is the map. It doesn't look that pretty, but it's really, really the best you can do when you have, when you want a map of... 3D space as efficiently as possible, and I think we've explored everywhere we can. Oh, okay, yeah, we've explored everywhere we can without going down this. Well, unless there are secrets I don't know about, which is entirely possible. But uh, I don't want to think about that right now. Let's just get going. There's an energy power up. Uh, you've seen me pick them up, but now you know what they do. If you didn't, you know, read them, see that they. Uh, more concussion missiles. I think I got a max of 20. This is the reactor. The the bureaucrat was talking about every level except bar two is gonna have one of these. And you blow it up. We need to find that exit door. This is the first level. It's really easy. Blow up the reactor. Exit opens, and we're home free. Well, for for this, we're gonna do this about what 26 more times. I think. I think there's a total of 27 levels. And uh, they'll start getting longer and longer. Let's go ahead and do another one. I don't really care about score, really. I don't even know what skill bonus is. We didn't get any of it, though. Full rescue bonus, though, is nice. Hostage. 
They have a hostage antifold rescue bonus? I'm sure. Why not? Alright, so where are we headed now? We're still in lunar orbit. We're going to Lunar Scilab. SL007. I don't think that matters. Uh, what I care about is like, the words. So we were at Lunar Outpost. Now we're at Lunar Scilab. Prepare for descent. Is there anything fundamental I haven't talked about yet? I think there's a rear view. There is a rear view. Um, probably more useful in multiplayer. And yes, this game has a multiplayer. Uh, option. Um, I don't know what this game's contemporaries were. I just compare it to Wolfenstein Doom and Dark Forces, because in those in those games you either couldn't look up... It, respectively, you couldn't look up Wolfenstein. You could. There was a verticality in Doom, but it was just for show. And Dark Forces, which I hope to play eventually, had actual verticality. And you can aim up and everything. And uh, I guess... In Dark Forces, in most first-person shooters, you can walk forward, you can strafe a bit, and you can jump for that extra degree of motion when you go right back down. Yeah, I guess you can crouch, but I, you have, but like in Descent, you've got unlimited movement in all directions. Now you'll you'll send me, you'll see me circle strafe a lot. Um, I've never seen the Wrath of Khan, but I've heard that he, that I, I know that Khan gets. Defeated, I guess, because Kirk exploits his lack of 3D thinking. I don't know, I really should see where the comic It's probably on Netflix. Probably don't really have a good excuse, but I haven't yet. Secret door somewhere this way. Yeah! I don't, remember, I don't exactly remember what's in here. I think another Vulcan cannon, if you didn't get the one last time, because it was optional. There's a, oh, that's the secret door. There's a lot of optional stuff in these levels. You can. Uh, Speedrunners can probably go a long way just picking up the necessary uh, the keys, the weapons necessary to get stronger and oh wait. Oh, hey. I wasn't expecting that so fast. Laser level three, alright. I didn't even test how strong laser level two was, but you know, I, I think I killed those things just now in two trigger presses. I think it took me three before, so already pretty big increase in power. Cool, where do I wanna go? Probably that way, because well Nah, let me go through everywhere I can in this room. That would be a door. <laughs> kind of like I do in Metroid sometimes. Like, there's a door. I have to go through it. Um, you do do. You can do damage from running, by running into it. Like, you just run into it and it explodes. It wouldn't. It's not a one hit kill. As you saw, I had to shoot him first before he exploded. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Now. Okay, so that just leads us back in here. I think almost well, there's like three doors in this room I'm in right now that will lead me back to the central room. I've been down this way yet? No. This should lead me down to the other entrance to the big, excuse me, big main room. So I'm killing enemy by ramming them again. So that's cool. Energy. Anything I haven't. Hey guys, there's the blue key. Give you a good look at it this time. Maybe I'll remember to give you a good look at it. Okay, yeah, I don't know, no promises. Taking out enemies even faster now. The lasers, it's nice. So there was a blue door. I didn't go I didn't go and show it to you, but there is a blue door. There are the hostages. I know this level pretty much like the back of my hand because I've practiced for it. Not as well as I do level one, but I practiced this game a lot. Like testing out all the sensitivity levels of this new... Well, it's not new. I've had it for a while, but I've just now got it working. That's why I brought up Descent Rebirth in the first place. When I was playing the Steam version with Docs, DOSBox, it wouldn't recognize my joystick. Rebirth does, and I'm so happy. I, I don't think I would want to play this game and talk at this... Uh, play this game for you guys without a joystick. I don't think I would want to play it, period, without a joystick, but I have uh, all the way up to level... Um, 13, I think I saved my... Oh, I haven't saved yet! That's a thing! Uh, well, we can do that at the start of level 3, I suppose. I should save, I should save at the start of every level. You can save whenever you want. I was getting to the point... I don't know what difficulty I was when I last played this, but I was save scumming to the point where I... I already opened a door. I, don't know, that's not I was save scumming to the point where... I saved myself in a bad spot. My too, health was too low. It was hard to escape 
that I don't quite remember. I've deleted I've since the well, I haven't deleted the file. It's on uh it's on the Steam version. Um but I don't really care about the details. I've sworn there's more to this room. It's like this particular room, but I guess not. Oh, th these things, yeah. The proximity bombs. I haven't even gone over to homing missiles, I picked them up. Uh, the concussion missiles, you saw me fire like one of them, one or two of them, they just go in a straight line. Homing missiles do about the same damage as concussion missiles, maybe more, but they can actually home in on enemies. Your aim doesn't quite as matter as much, and even if you have really good aim, some robots are good at strafing. Have I done everything I wanted to do there? Yeah, yeah unless there are secrets I'm missing, I think I'm good to go find the blue door. I think I'm missing anything, but you know, who knows. Uh, mm, mm, what was I talking about before? Homing missiles? What was I talking about before missiles? Oh, these things. Proximity bombs. So, if I were to press the missile fire button right now, you'd see a bomb appear in the middle there behind me, and it would just stay there. Again, more useful in multiplayer, because there's not a whole lot of chasing enemies. There is in the sequel, set 2, which I might get to at some point. Who knows? Uh, I'm not going to use them a whole often. I'll try to think of ways to use them, because I really never have before. It'd be nice to just kind of discover something new, but uh, I typically don't use them. So here's a blue door, same principle as the red door and other future doors. You can probably guess where the blue light and red lights are on my heads-up display, uh, that the next key's yellow, and that there are no more keys. That's correct. That's pretty much how every level in Descent goes. Pick up the blue, yellow, and red keys, use them to get to the reactor, blow up the reactor, get out. But all, but it's... I just want to saw a diagonal one, diagonal one's out of the secret door. Really simple concept, but it's, it's done really well. This is a joy to play, I think. And I guess most many people bought this from the multiplayer anyway, which, you know, you can still get to work. I haven't gotten it to yet, but I know people can, uh, should they ever desire to. Uh, but uh, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be recorded. I think. <laughs> See, the, the Hulks are really good at dodging, or stra well, they're really good at strafing. It's not always successful, but uh, they can, and it's really annoying on the on the more uh, dangerous variants. Uh, lava blows up. I never make use of it, but it's got AOE damage. If somebody's fine too close to lava, you just shoot the lava, and boom. Really shouldn't have said that, because I think the people who could play multiplayer with me might be watching, and I was going to use that against them, and now they know. Oh well. Don't think there are any secret areas are there. We got the red key. Let's we know where the red door is. I don't know what I pointed out, but I, I do know where it is. Uh, so let's go. Let's, uh, and that'll be really near the end of this video. Two levels seems like a good pace, unless it's a really long level, so is there anything else I haven't gone over that I really should? I don't think so. There's a lock. Okay, I'm seeing the word lock on my heads-up display. Some enemies have homing weapons. It's really annoying. We picked a blazer level 4. It's as high as they go in this game. So let's just test these out. One, two, three. Three trigger pulls for a small hulk. Good. Yeah, I like it. So I've not had to use missiles at all yet. I have them. Here's a reactor. I just want to kind of clear everything out. I think there's a. No, no, no. Oh crap! I didn't want that just yet. See, I ha I hit my max of home home homing missiles. I had eight. There were four in this package. There are four now, but I can only hold. Hold on. I can only hold ten. So the ones I picked up were excess. I shouldn't have killed you yet. I was going to show this off. This is a cloaking device. Very rare, but they make you invisible. Now, it looks like the reactor is still shooting at me, but it's shooting at my last known position. If I shoot here and don't move, it's going to hit me. I'm just going to keep shooting there, not knowing where I am. Small Hulk over there would have done the same, but I destroyed them all. So, yeah. Ah, uh, crap. I was going to fire missiles at it. I guess those are just going to go to waste, I suppose. Concussions. And uh, I never pointed out the exit, but I know where it is. It's right there. There are some hulks, but why bother? 
and like I said, if you know what you're doing, you can skip a lot of excess and get this done really fast. But I like collecting everything. It makes me as powerful as soon as possible. And, uh... And, uh, you never know what other things you behind. I think they're, they're, like, extra lives. I don't plan on dying a whole lot, but you never know. But that's gonna bring us to the end. We'll get a peek of what where we're going next. Luna, lunar military installation. We're still on the moon. Not gonna... I don't know how long we stay on the moon. Hope we go to, like, Mars or Venus, or probably Mars. Venus is the one direct. Well, space is weird. Because, you know, solar system, like, you can... I it's never mind. Rotations it make my head hurt right now. Let me just say that, uh... That I'm grateful for you watching, and this is not at all how I do my intro, but I don't know, I just said what I said, so please do all the regular YouTube things if you're so inclined, and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save, and until next time, uh, TTFN, ta-ta for now.